Welcome to the Grain Man YouTube channel and welcome to Shire Farms. I'm going to be starting a new series for my new YouTube channel on this map um, for people to view and enjoy. So uh, let's probably get stuck in. First things first, if anybody has played this map before, doesn't matter which um, type of skill or difficulty level that you start on, you always end up with quite a lot of equipment at the start. It's really nice equipment, but I think it actually allows the map to be a little bit too easy. So what I'm actually going to do for a start is look at getting rid of all of the equipment. And then I'm going to use the easy development mod to reduce the money back down to 500,000, buy some fields, buy some um, first stage equipment, shall we say, some more tractors, harvester, etc probably look at buying the field over there and uh, probably a grass field and then just uh, start with uh, a basic from scratch system really so like I said we'll start by just pretty much selling everything in the owned items section and uh, we shall then buy some entry level equipment and uh, alter the money using the easy development mod So as you can see from all that activity, we've um, got rid of two million pounds worth of vehicles. So what I'm going to do is then look at getting rid of all that money using the easy development mod and uh, starting with some pretty uh, basic tractors. As you can now see, we are back to 500,000. Um, we have sold two, over two million pounds worth of vehicles that came with a base, uh, base start game. And uh, let's look at buying some land for a start. I, I believe this whole area comes as one big piece of land. So I think we'll start with that. Gill leaves is 269,427. There's some of the bits and bobs that I also uh, want to remove from the map moving forward. I think we will remove the very large cow barn, mainly because, um, yes, it is the best on the game and it does come with the really nice robotic feeder, but I actually quite like um, having a cow barn without it. I quite like doing the TMR mix. Um, taking the milk away and, and putting everything together and then storing it and then mixing it myself it's just something I quite enjoy doing it's just a little job um, so I think what we'll start with now is look at buying some uh, tractors um, I think I'm either going to start with the Massa Ferguson's or Case I believe um, I do run um, generally so I, do that. I do generally run quite a lot of mods um, with my games um, I'm a big fan of, of Mod Hub and all the mods that are on there. It, um, I've also got quite a lot of the um, Giants expansions, Platinum, Pumps and Hoses, Vermeer Pack, etc. But I do like to run quite a lot of mods. I've actually cut down for this game quite a lot. Um, as you can see, I've got quite a lot of case mods in there because I do like the case tractors, especially the older ones. Um, and obviously some of the uh, Deutsch tractors as well. Big fan of those. Um, run them on quite a few series. Um, generally done around a thousand hours so far of Farming Simulator 22. Um, I started with uh, this game actually. A friend of mine introduced me to it um, when it first came out. Started playing it, got got very much uh, hooked and enjoying it a lot. So I'm still playing it a lot. I've got around four other uh, games on the go as well, and I'll be bringing those videos to the channel as I go. Um, I've got quite a few. Um, ones that are actually quite established farms now. Um, this one I thought I'd start with just a 
but start farm again especially since I actually quite like the uh, field structure of this map as I looked at it and did, watched a few uh, map reviews and walkthroughs especially with things like the undulation of the fields etc I just think it adds us a little bit better than some of the stock maps and some of the other maps that are around um, because obviously it's just not flat and it's also based on the UK which is where I'm from so um, I thought it was a good place to start as you probably saw actually when I went into that field I uh, do run a couple of gameplay mods as well so I do run the additional field info mod so it gives you a lot more information on the right hand side I also run the crop rotation uh, mod as well to actually mix the game up a bit make it a bit more enjoyable uh, but actually a bit more difficult so if you're not um, au fait with the crop rotation mod it just uh, means that you can't put the same crop back in the same field every time you have to actually rotate it round three or four different crops to then get maximum yield so as you can see there the crop rotation on this is 110 um, which is fine because it's had different as you can see it's pre previous harvest so the least harvest it's had was cotton then it, corn then cotton and now it's got uh, and, and now it's got the wheat in which just allows it then to have that extra boost so an extra 10% um, it does go on top of the yield bonus as well so if you do need the yield but you need to have a yield bonus so like this field not fertilized at all um, but it is ready to harvest that's probably one of the first jobs we will do so uh, yeah um, as you'll probably see as you look at more of the videos over the coming weeks and months um, I do generally keep quite up to date with all the mods on mod hub I enjoy downloading them playing with them to change in the game I will be doing productions in this series as well um, there's a couple of other productions I've done in the maps of the potato production mod that's a really good one actually um, and I still like some of the default ones obviously getting to the point of having clothes is always a big one in farming simulator in my opinion this time because clothes are worth a, a very an awful lot of money which is uh, I always think is not a bad thing um, so we'll be running quite a lot of those the general layout of the farmyard I think I'm quite happy with at the moment I'll probably make some changes etc moving forward but I think the first thing we'll do now is uh, get some equipment on and get a harvest going now that is very interesting in the used vehicle market that's an ideal oof. It's a very nice vent ideal para level. It's probably a bit too much to start at the start, to be honest with you. I don't think that's a good idea. I was looking at probably um, looking at these Agco harvester packs. These are actually quite new ones. Still a lot of money though, 202. Okay, that's uh, something to look at. That's 184. So the vent is actually cheaper. Okay, that doesn't leave me with much money. But I would say that probably might be quite a good start. Um, I haven't edited any XML files for this, so this is just precisely how it's ended up. Um, I am going to go and buy that, I think. I'm using the standard 7PL. Don't really like Michelin, Continentals, Fighters, BKT, really like BKT tyres, don't know why. Travel Borgs look pretty good though. No, the BKTs, I like those. Okay, so I'm going to buy that and I'm going to say we might need to. Yeah, we potentially might need to get a small loan and go from there to actually get this game started one side two no, i think we'll go for design two it's a bit uh, nicer by that Right, so I think what we'll start with now then is we'll get into that. As you can see, I run the uh, manual engine start. I always find it a little bit easier to use. Um, I don't mean know why, I just prefer it, especially if I'm harvesting on my own. It just means that obviously then I can uh, leave the combine running 
while pulling the tractor to the side. Let's see if I can actually do this without doing too much damage to the new header. I might need to change that setting as well, actually, by the looks of that. So I'll do that in a second. Let me just change that setting now. Not really a big fan. I believe it is the. I'm actually going to put it down to normal with the traffic on. Season growth is yes. Do one day a month at the moment. Made to change that to two actually. Snow's on. Crop description I'm going to leave on. Don't always. Periodic power I'm going to as well because I'll be using subsoilers potentially. Fill stone I'm going to turn off. Lime maybe leave on for now. Weeds I'm going to turn off. Normal dirt. Fast. I quite fast. Stop go breaking on. That's the one. So hopefully that's better. Now let's get this loaded onto the header trailer. Now I am told by a friend of mine who's played this game a lot when he first um, played Farming Simulator a lot um, from 17 onwards I believe that uh, oh there we go and I was about to say oh there you go it snaps to grid or it actually snaps to the trailer better which uh, is quite comical because that's the first time that's happened to me for a very long time so what I will do though is obviously the combine looks like it needs a bit of repair so I will repair this combine from a start before I get into the field so I'm actually not massively familiar with this map um, I've only been on this uh, once or twice um, so can I get in there? I... yeah I can go that way or I can go around so hopefully that's the point it is right repair 6000 ouch Okay, let's go for that then. Users with not much money. So, let's get this to the field. Let's get some harvest in. Let's get some money. Because I think we're going to need it. I think I might have started myself off on quite a bit of a challenge by the looks of it. So, let's see how we get on. If I remember rightly, it's out of here. Turn left. And let's have a quick look on the map. moment I am there yeah out here turn left down yep yeah, that's right so I will do that and put beacons on ah, very nice so while I'm uh, oh watch out for me please thank you that didn't work too well did it there we go so while I'm uh, driving back to the farm, I'll probably just explain what I'd like to get out of this series, really. Like I mentioned before, I've done over a thousand hours of Farming Simulator. Um, I would quite like to just um, probably get to um, just over a million or so. A uh, bit of rough driving there um, on this map and have at least six or seven fields, maybe more. Um, don't think it's going to be a long term series for me probably 20 30 episodes um i've got some other games that i'm playing um i've got a, a pretty established game on greenlands um and i've got a couple of multiplayer maps that i play with a friend so i'm hopefully to bring them into the channel as well over the next couple of uh, weeks and months um we've got a couple on there actually we've got a, a sada um combined multiplayer we've also got a um western wilds which is a start from scratch and we started with like really old tractors from the 1960s 70s and 80s and with very little um, that's taken quite a few hours so far to get set up um, so there'll probably be a couple of videos of those it might just be a walkthrough and like a uh, map tour of what i've done so far now i think i'm going to do a couple of map tours and walkthroughs of um, other series that i've got running as well um, even if they are a little bit um, already kind of all set up shall we say especially my uh, green one which is quite a quite a uh, good setup so far small setup six five six fields i believe from what i remember but it's still going to be quite uh, a good one to uh, obviously make some videos up so uh, what i'll probably do now is get this set up on the field and do a uh, time lapse and uh, go from there
as you can see so far progress is going quite well um, and in the time lapse um, I haven't included it in the video but I've actually purchased a new tractor and trailer um, I have actually had, in, had to increase the uh, loan that we've got now so um, the loan now stands at 300,000 which is going to be a bit of a challenge to pay back but uh, let's give it a go um, what I ended up buying was a Matt Ferguson MF5S125 nice little tractor that one again mod tractor do like to run a few quite a few mods on my games um, also bought a nice Reich RT160 again mod um, but this is quite a good uh, mod trailer because you can actually change it to be a bale trailer animal trailer etc so I uh, thought I'd give that a bit of a, a, a go really um, I've run that on a couple of my games um, on pretty other maps as well so should be good um, what I'm going to do I'm going to end that video here for now and uh, the next video will uh, encompass the finishing of this field and then hopefully getting some money together to get a baler and uh, do some straw so hope to see you next time thank you